I'm gonna buy one amazing player from every La Liga club. The goal is to build an insane La Liga all-star team, but this team could end up being really dodgy. Because of course, from Barcelona, Real Madrid, we're probably gonna get amazing players. But what about Cadiz, Mallorca, and Alaves? They barely have any gold cards. But I guess this is gonna be a great test for La Liga's quality. And let's see if we can build an 85 rated team. First, we're starting off with the goalkeeper position. This wheel has got all 20 La Liga clubs on it. We're spinning it now and whichever club it lands on, we're gonna have to pick their goalkeeper and it's Alaves. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, wow. Look at Alaves's squad. Their best player is 76 rated. This is what I was worried about. No way. Are you actually joking? Their best goalkeeper is 73 rated. Well, we have no choice but to buy him. Not the start I was expecting putting a 73 rated goalkeeper into our team, but oh well. Just shows it's gonna be really difficult to build a good team in this one. Oh, and don't forget, we have one icon or hero card upgrade, which I think we're gonna have to use very smartly in this team. Also, we're not allowed to just play any formation. The wheel is gonna decide the formation we use. Almeria. Okay, we now need to pick their last used formation in La Liga. Okay, so Almeria's last game, they played Granada. 3-3, what a game. Luis Suarez, hat-trick? Okay, I'm sure that's not the Uruguayan Luis Suarez. But anyways, they played a 4-3-3, and I'm pretty sure I was with a CDM. And so, that's the formation we're picking. This is basically like every La Liga club's formation. The 4-3-3 is so common in the league. Time to pick our first center back. I don't know, we might be using our icon or hero upgrade. Kind of depends on the club we get. Okay, Valencia. That's not too bad. Surely they've got some decent players. Yo, Valencia fell off. The best center back they've got at the club is Gabriel Paulista. Oh, no. And I just checked. They don't have any icon or hero center back that we can upgrade to. This team Bruh. is actually hilarious man we've got a silver player in goal a gold non-rare at center back what is even going on so far my defense literally makes me want to cry but hopefully the midfield can be a bit better we're now picking our center mid come on maybe we can see some of the bigger clubs here on the wheel i would really love that oh okay it's villarreal hang on a minute guys i remember doing an spc of a certain francis coquelin this is perfect finally we've got someone decent in the team look at that card as well this is his europa league version 77 pace. I did this SPC and I'm glad now because we can use him in this team and we'll need him because look at that defense. Let's now pick our left back. Why not? All right, let's see which club are we going to get and Sevilla. This is perfect because I know they've got an incredible left back. Someone who's won a World Cup. That's right guys, Acuna plays for Sevilla. This is actually perfect for us and I didn't even know he was 85 rated. Fair enough. With Acuna coming in suddenly, this team has gotten a whole lot better. But let's now pick our other center back and see if we can improve the defense. Come on, give me a good club to sign a player from Atletico Madrid. Okay, I would have preferred to get an attacker from them, but okay, center back isn't too bad. And to be fair, we need a good center back, so this might actually be perfect. So I think Jose Maria Jimenez is the smart choice. Hermoso is pretty good too, but I think Jimenez is a bit better. I also checked there's no icon or hero card that played for Atletico Madrid in the center back position. So Jimenez is the only only choice. But okay, at least that defense now looks a bit usable. Acuna and Jimenez have literally saved it. But let's complete the defense with our right back. We're yet to get Barcelona or Real Madrid. I probably wouldn't want them at right back, but let's see what happens. Ooh, Real Betis. Surely they've got someone decent there. Wait, what? Bellerin is the best right back from Real Betis? Things were going too well for us, so we had to get brought back down to earth. But hey, at least Bellerin's got 81 pace, so it should be okay. But yeah, that defense is a bit meh. But well, let's of the midfield can be a lot better. We're now picking our other sentiment. By the way, we've still got that icon or hero pick left and I think soon we need to use it. And honestly, midfield would be a great position to use it, but it depends on the club. Oh, we get Real Sociedad. Mikel Merino is Real Sociedad's best sentiment. He would be a great shout. But guys, Chabi Alonso. For those of you guys who don't know, five years he spent at Real Sociedad and that means we're eligible for an icon or a hero upgrade, which in this case is Chabi Alonso. But do I want to use it now? or maybe wait for the attackers. The thing is, Barcelona or Real Madrid have already amazing gold players that we don't need to use an icon upgrade on them. This, for me, makes a lot of sense. Nah, I'm doing it, boys. I'm doing it. Xavi Alonso is the icon upgrade for this one. Let's go, boys. That is an insane player we're adding into our team. And yo, the midfield already with Xavi Alonso and Coquelin looks crazy good. And it better be because we're going to be playing a game once we build this entire team. And if we don't win the game, every player with the match rating
anything below seven gets discarded. Xabi Alonso is going to be our captain. I do not want him to get discarded. By the way, our bench is looking a bit empty. So let's fill in a few players here. We get Hetafe for the backup goalkeeper position. Mr. David Soria joins our bench. He's actually better than our first team goalkeeper, which is frustrating. We then get Girona and Granada for our bench defenders. And so I bought Arnal Martinez and Victor Diaz. Yeah, the bench is pretty shocking. But hopefully we can make up for it with the CDM position. I'm so nervous for this one. Who are we gonna get? Don't be Madrid. Oh my days. It was almost Madrid because I want to save Real Madrid for the attackers. And who is this club? I don't even know the logo. Is that Osasuna? Oh no, the best CDM they've got is Moncayola. I'm not a fan of this. I'm absolutely not a fan of this. Oh, Bruh. Moncayola looks so bad in that midfield. Xabi Alonso and Coquelin are gonna need to carry. It's now time for the striker position and I'm hoping we get Barcelona, Real Madrid or something like that because then we could go for some insane players. This is it. The moment of truth. It's coming to Barcelona and yeah, let's go for the striker position. We get to sign a Barcelona player. That is actually insane luck. And I think you guys know who we're going for. Yeah, it can only be one man, Robert Lewandowski. Robert Levan Lewandowski. I had actually packed him in one of our previous videos and now we get to use him again. That really improves the team, man, honestly. I'm now going to add a couple of midfielders to our bench. We get Las Palmas and Mallorca. As long as it's not Real Madrid, I'm fine. Don't want to be using a Madrid pick for the bench. Sergi Dada and Munir join our bench. Oh, I completely forgot we're yet to pick our manager. For the sake of humanity, please don't be Real Madrid. I do not want to pick a manager from them. Instead, it's Athletic Bilbao. Okay, who's their coach? It's actually Ernesto Valverde. I remember he coached Barcelona, but he's the Bilbao coach apparently. And so we've got our gaffer. Time to pick the rest of our attackers and let's start with right wing. Honestly, Real Madrid. I really want it to be Real Madrid. Please, let's see what it's going to be. Oh, no. Raya Vallecano? You see, Palazon is the best right winger from Raya Vallecano, and that's actually not too bad. He's got 84 pace. Three-star weak for three-star skill moves, though. But regardless, he's the player that joins the team. Guys, we now need Real Madrid for this left winger pick, because you guys know who I could buy. Come on, man. There are only three clubs left on the wheel. Give us Real Madrid. Stop it, Madrid. Stop it, Madrid. Yes, we got it. Let's go. That means we're going to now buy the most expensive player for this squad. No way, guys. Vinicius Junior is over 1.1 million. That is crazy. And we've just bought him. Let's go, guys. This actually saves our team, literally. Yo, Vinicius is actually crazy on this game. 95 pace, 90 dribbling as well. What a card. Him and Lewandowski, Chabi Alonso, these guys are going to have to carry us. But oh, look at the team rating that we've got. It's 83. And I wanted to try and hit an 85 rating. Maybe our last couple of bench players could help us out? Maybe not, because we need to buy players from Cadiz and Celta Vigo. And so Aspas and Machis are our final players. That doesn't really improve the rating. We're sticking to 83. Oh, but I just checked when we did the same video for the Premier League. The squad we built was also 83 rated. So La Liga and Premier League on the same level. But yeah, for now, we're going into a game with this team. And if I lose, any player with a match rating of less than 7 gets pinned. Okay, his team is good, but that looks beatable. A few moments later... We concede. Oh my days. This team is so bad, honestly. Okay, Robert Lewandowski. Vinicius, come on. Simple goal. Let's go, Vinny. Come on, that should at least get his rating up. That's good. My defense is the worst thing I've ever seen. It's going to literally cost us this game. And come on. Oh, this defense is horrendous. I'll tell you this. Xavi Alonso is actually decent in midfield. Oh, really? Oh, good pass for Vinicius Jr. If I could bring it inside. Go on, Vinny. Vinny, let's go. Let's go. Vinicius is cracked. What a goal. We're not discarding him. We're not discarding Vinny. Remember, guys, if we win this game, we don't have to discard anyone. So, yep, that's kind of the goal. But with this defense, winning a game is, is going to be an absolute nightmare. Look at how easily we got unlocked. Come on. Our keeper actually made a save. Vinicius Jr. is literally the GOAT, man. Look at him go. He's so freaking quick. Nobody's catching him. Vinicius, okay. Okay, now. Okay, there's the tricks. There's the skills. Oh, Easy. let's go. Vinny just destroyed him. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Robert Lewandowski, let's go. Oh, but once again, my defense is just so stinky. Like, what was that? Don't have a defense, but what we do have is Vinicius Jr. in the attack. Look at him go. 
Cross inside for Lewandowski and bang. I'm telling you, boys, Vinicius and Lewandowski are carrying this team. Half time in the match ratings are looking good. Vinicius with a 10, Lewandowski with a 9.3, Alonso with an 8.1. But the rest of the team is pretty bad. As long as we win, though, we don't have to discard anyone. One eternity later. No, no, no. That was just... My defense is so bad. I'm doing the same thing. I'm doing the same thing. The silly cutback. Let's go. Oh, come on. My defense is useless. This is like one of the craziest games of foot I've ever played. Like, look at the score. No, what is Bellerin doing? Keeper saved us and no, we can see it in six all. I cannot believe how bad our defense is. Go on, Lewandowski, please. Lewandowski, no, go stop penalty. Oh, is that going to be a red card? Red card, let's go. Taking this one with Javi Alonso. Surely he can score this. Javi, no, he's missed the pin. By the way, even if we draw, we still will have to discard players. So this is this is bad. I'm going to concede. I'm actually going to concede. I cannot believe it, man. I legit can't believe it. We're going to have to discard players. This is crazy. No way we actually lost this. Oh my days. I can't believe it. Any player with a match rating of below seven gets discarded. Thankfully, Vinicius and Lewandowski scored hat tricks. They're safe. So is Javi Alonso. No! Coquelin! He's gone. He was an SPC card. I can't get him back as well. Acuna and Jimenez will be gone too. So is Bellerin. I cannot believe I bottled it. And so we're discarding all the players that got a match rating of below 7. Get out of the club, Jimenez. You're a fraud anyway. So is this silver keeper. But the big one is Francis Coquelin. I'm submitting him into an SPC. And he's the latest player to join the discard table alongside Messi and Ronaldo. Can't believe it. At least Javi Alonso video. Vinicius and Lewandowski survive. But hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, why not watch me buy one amazing player from every Premier League club? Click here to watch that.